वेलकम टू ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ कड़ेश्वर विश्वविद्यालय आई प्रोफेसर उदय वैद्य वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस अ मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग इन दिस वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो यू विल स्टडी अबाउट द बेजिक्स ऑफ मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग इन चेंज इन द टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन बाय इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज ऑफ वन यूनिट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट is term as a marginal cost according to economics in a cost account the same concept is put in another way a system of determining cost of production by excluding a fixed expenses from total cost is known as a marginal costing now we define the definition from this concept in way that amount at any given volume of output by which aggregate cost are changed if the volume of output is increased or decreased by one unit in a practice this is measured by total variable cost attributed to one unit now from this definitions we define certain characteristics of the cost is ascertained on the basis of variable cost only where second characteristic is about the cost is presented in a such a manner that it help the management in a taking a important decisions where number 3 is about the stock of finished goods and work in progress are valued on the basis of marginal cost only where number 4 is about for ascertainment of profit a special types of profit and loss account is prepared which is known as marginal profit and loss account where number 5 is about selling price is determined on the basis of marginal cost plus contributions where number 6 is about in order to find out the profitability of various department or product contributions available from sales is compared now from this characteristics and definition we studied some assumption which is necessary before the calculating a marginal cost that assumptions is all expense can be classified as a fixed and variable in actual practices such perfect classification is not possible the second assumption is about fixed cost remain stable for any level of production they do not change in respective of increase or decrease in production where number 3 is about variable expenses change in direct proportions to change in level of production if production is double then the variable cost will also double now about the number 4 it is assumed that the efficiency of operations will remain unchanged because if the level of efficiency change there would be a change in a variable cost per unit now assumption number 5 is about there will be a no change in the selling price in respective of whether the competitions increase or get reduced over whether there is a large scale change in a productions where number 6 is about there is a no change in a factor of production like a material labor etc where number 8 is about there is would be no change in management policies technological method and efficiency of men machines and material which is are totally impossible now we will discuss about advantages of marginal costing cost per unit is same in marginal costing as a fixed overhead are no change to the cost of productions the effect of change in output cost per unit is avoided no increase or decrease in recovery of overhead expense in eliminate a large balance left over head control account when fixed overhead are recovered on certain basis 
then the fix over will be either under recover or over recover due to change in volume of output such a problem would not arise in a marginal costing decision of production in the period of prosperity marginal costing is a variable aid management in their task of decision making in times of prosperity the firm would receive order beyond the capacity of firm to fulfill useful in a depressions during the depressions price will have to be reduced in order to maintain a sales price have to be reduced even below total cost so far as the selling price is more than marginal cost now sometimes we will confuse if we are produce a raw material or purchase from the market the solutions are received from this marginal costing technique that's why fifth advantage is about the make or buy decision sometimes it become unnecessary to decide whether a component or part is to be a manufacturer in a factory or to brought from the outside if the price is supplier is more than marginal cost it should not be a purchase from outside even though it may be a below a cost total cost per unit now six advantages is about dumping in foreign market in order to capture a foreign market or total accept a special order at a reduced price it is necessary to arrive at a marginal cost now it's about number 7 relation between volume and profit the effect of change in the level of output on the profitability is brought to light by a system of marginal costing where in a number 8 useful in a differential cost analysis the system of marginal costing is based on distinction between fixed expense and variable expense this distinction is useful system of flexible budget and differential cost analysis where in a number 8 control over cost by dividing the total cost in two parts of fixed cost and variable cost control over cost become easy now about the number 10 easy for sales manager to fix the selling price if the cost of production per unit change with the change in output each month then it will be a difficult to sales manager to fix a selling price but by adopting a marginal costing marginal cost per unit remain unchanged and as a result of fixation of selling price become easy after the discussion of this advantage now we will discuss about the limitations of marginal costing first limitations is about avoidance of fixed cost in a long run harmful the marginal cost may be a useful guide for price fixation in short run but economic prices cannot be set in a long run without taking a fixed expenses in account the second limitations is about time factor ignore the time factor is completely ignored two jobs may have same marginal cost though one may take a much longer time to complete than the other hence the comparisons would be a quite misleading where number 3 is about profitability loss if some special order are accepted at a lower price below total cost it may lead to expectations of general lowering of a prices for all customer this may prove to enterprise in the long run where number 4 is about adverse effect of price reduction if price reduction is done in case of one customer then the price reduction must be done in a respect of customers and the total profit is to be maintained then the sales will have be increase on large scale where number 5 is about distinction between cost difficult the system of marginal costing is based on distinction between fixed and variable cost 
in practical life it is difficult to clearly separate expenses in two category of fixed and variable expenses some of the expenses are semi variable where some of the expenses have no relations at all to the level of output where number 6 is about fixed cost is a part of cost in large and highly mechanism industries the fixed cost from the substantial part of the total cost by ignoring fixed cost only a small portions of a cost is recovered by the marginal cost this would be misleading thank you so much